for me, a lot of what I just said just came from the wrong place. I was so angry at what was going on around me, and instead of taking a look inwards, I decided to look outwards at everybody else. My own frustrations with my own career and where I kind of landed. I took shots at everybody else, which is wrong. So obviously I want to apologize for that. In the Today, we gather with heavy hearts to honor and remember a voice that brought joy to countless lives, Liam Payne. The news of his passing has left an undeniable void, one that resonates deeply with fans across the world. Liam wasn't just a singer. He was a beacon of hope, a symbol of resilience, and a source of comfort for so many. From the moment he stepped onto that stage during the X Factor, he became a part of our lives. We watched him grow, shine, and evolve, sharing his music and his heart with the world. Whether it was through the electrifying performances with One Direction or his soulful solo tracks, Liam's voice had a way of speaking directly to our souls. He made us dance, he made us smile, and sometimes he made us cry, but always in the best way. But today, those same songs that once lifted our spirits now echo with a touch of sorrow. We're reminded of the incredible talent and the kind-hearted soul that Liam was. As we reflect on his journey, let's celebrate the life of a man who gave so much to the world, through his music, his words, and his kindness. Liam James Payne was born on August 29, 1993, at New Cross Hospital in the Heath Town District of Wolverhampton, West Midlands, England. He was the son of Karen Payne, an infant nurse, and Jeff Payne, a fitter. He had two older sisters, Nicola and Ruth Payne. Payne was born three weeks early and suffered frequent illnesses. Until the age of four, Payne had regular tests done in hospital as doctors noticed one of his kidneys was scarred and dysfunctional. To help cope with the pain, he had 16 injections in his arm every morning and another 16 every evening as a child. As a student, Payne was heavily involved in sports, particularly cross-country running. Payne originally joined the Wolverhampton and Bilston Athletics Club to pursue his running career. For three years, he was ranked in the top three 1500 M runners in the country within his age group. He took up boxing lessons at the age of 12 amidst bullying from older students in secondary school. Payne completed 11 GCSEs at St. Peter's Collegiate School, now St. Peter's Collegiate Academy, before moving on to study music technology at City of Wolverhampton College. Payne was first introduced to the world of show business at age 12 as a member of the Pink Productions Theatre Company, appearing as Tony Monero from Saturday Night Fever. Payne had previously performed in front of a crowd of 26,000 during a Wolverhampton Wanderers football match. Growing up, he showed an early interest in music, often singing and performing in local events. His road to stardom began in 2008 when he first auditioned for The X Factor UK. Though his initial attempt didn't lead to immediate success, his determination brought him back to the stage in 2010. This time, his performance caught the judges' eyes, and he was placed into a group that would change the world, One Direction. As one of the five members of One Direction, Liam became an international sensation. The group's meteoric rise to fame was unprecedented, with chart-topping hits like What Makes You Beautiful, Story of My Life, and drag me down. For five years, they took the music world by storm, selling out stadiums and winning awards across the globe. Liam's smooth vocals and his role as a lead singer helped shape the band's iconic sound, while his charm made him a fan favorite. After One Direction went on hiatus in 2016, Liam embarked on a new chapter as a solo artist. Venturing into a different musical style, he released his debut single, Strip That Down, featuring rapper Quavo, in 2017. The track was a departure from his boy band roots, embracing a more mature, R&B infused sound that resonated with a wide audience. It became an instant hit, climbing the charts and earning multi-platinum status. Liam's solo career continued to evolve, with releases such as For You, a collaboration with Rita Ora, and Stack It Up, featuring a boogie wit de hoodie. His debut album, LP1, showcased his versatility as an artist, blending pop, dance, and urban music. While the journey has had its highs and lows, Liam has shown resilience, 
always pushing himself to grow and adapt in the ever-changing music landscape. Liam Payne's lifestyle has been a mix of the high-profile glitz of stardom and quiet, reflective moments. He has shared openly about his struggles, particularly with mental health, fame, and finding his own identity outside of the band. Through his challenges, he has remained vocal about the importance of self-care and supporting one another, becoming a voice for many fans dealing with similar issues. Beyond music, Liam is known for his love of fitness. He has often shared glimpses of his rigorous workout routines, emphasizing the role of discipline and health in his life. Despite his fame, he has always tried to keep a part of his life private, cherishing the time spent with family and friends. Liam's personal life has been the subject of much public interest. He shares a son, Bear Grey Payne, with singer Cheryl, whom he was in a relationship with from 2016 to 2018. Despite their split, Liam has consistently expressed his dedication to being a present and supportive father to Bear. Liam has also been candid about his romantic relationships, most recently his engagement to Maya Henry, which was called off in 2021. Although their breakup was widely covered, Liam's approach has been to maintain respect and privacy. He has always spoken fondly of those he has been close to, emphasizing kindness and understanding in all his interactions. Liam Payne's success as a solo artist and as part of One Direction has amassed him an estimated net worth of $70 million. With a career that includes sold-out tours, multi-platinum albums, and countless awards, his contributions to the music world have made him a well-known figure globally. His influence extends beyond music, as he has ventured into fashion and charity, constantly finding new ways to engage with his fans. Liam has worked with various charitable organizations, particularly focusing on causes like child welfare and mental health awareness. His charitable efforts have shown that even in the midst of success, he hasn't forgotten the importance of giving back. Payne had spoken about struggling with alcoholism since the peak of the band's success. On June 1, 2022, he was interviewed by Logan Paul for his podcast series where Payne, while intoxicated, said that One Direction originated with Simon Cowell's promise to him. Payne received an ADHD diagnosis as an adult. In August 2023, Payne was hospitalized with a kidney infection. Payne publicly discussed his struggles with alcoholism and suicidal ideation. In 2023, he stated that he had been sober for over three months. On October 16, 2024, Payne died after falling from a third-floor balcony at the Cossessa Hotel in the Palermo neighborhood of Buenos Aires, Argentina, at the age of 31. Police were called to the hotel following an emergency call from the hotel manager, who reported an aggressive man who could be under the effects of drugs and alcohol. The manager indicated in the call that when he is conscious, he is destroying the entire room and we need you to send someone, noting that the man's life was at risk due to the room having a balcony. Payne fell from the balcony shortly after emergency services arrived. His death was confirmed at 5.11 p.m. Argentina time, art. Alberto Crescenti, director of Buenos Aires Public Emergency Medical Service, announced Payne's death on the Argentine news channel to do noticias, stating that the fall was from a height of approximately 13 to 14 meters, 43 to 46 feet, and that Payne sustained very serious injuries incompatible with life, leaving no possibility of resuscitation. Crescenti declined to comment on whether the death was a suicide or an accident. From the early days on the X Factor to selling out stadiums worldwide and crafting a solo career, Liam Payne's journey has been filled with triumphs, challenges, and moments that will be cherished by fans forever. He has grown from a young boy with a dream into a confident artist who has learned to navigate the complexities of fame and personal growth. Liam's story is not just about his voice. It's about his heart, his resilience, and his ability to connect with people on a deeper level. Through his music, he has provided a soundtrack to the lives of millions, and his legacy continues to inspire. Thank you, Liam, for the music, the memories, and the magic you have shared with us. 
your voice will always hold a special place in the hearts of fans around the world. Rest in peace, Liam Payne. Your spirit lives on through your music and the joy you brought to so many.